Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Asant. I hope you all doing well. In case if you are seeing me for the first time on the internet, I'm a content creator. I help people to clear their interviews. I made a lot of beautiful series in the past, which has been appreciated by many. I'll try to link all those things in the description, if possible, also on the screen. Please watch the videos. So, in case if you are a front-end developer who looking out for a job change, I will guarantee you, if you watch all my series, including this video, definitely you will have a 70 to 80 percent of a chance to clear most of the your uh, uh, interview rounds. Okay. Now, without wasting further time, let's get started with the video content. I believe all of you have seen uh, the thumbnail and uh, you got already confused about uh, what is happening with the console.log and what are the different operations, what output we'll be expecting. Okay. Now, let us take it like this where I'll confuse you more, even more, and I'll get rid of all your confusion and take you, uh, get, uh, reveal all the things that is happening under the wood step by step. Okay. Now, so what we are doing here is let us first show you, let me first show you the output. From that point itself, we'll start. Okay. So where I'm running the output, okay? So where for the first one, it is 132. For the last one is NAN. This is NAN, uh, then there is also two. And for this, it is 32. And for this, it is 02. For this is 112, okay? I think now you might have, again, the confusion might have increased further. How it is 122 or how it is 32, how it is NAN and two. All the things I'm going to explain in this video in very much in detail. So please watch the video till then. This is one of the very, very inter important interview topic. So these are the tricky question that generally ask just to check how depth your knowledge is of a particular JavaScript concepts. Okay. So please watch the video till then. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to my channel and comment, please subscribe and continue watching. Like I mentioned, you will definitely don't regret. A lot of my videos will help you to clear your interview. Now, let's start with some simple things. Okay. Generally, with with my experience of looking at the a lot of tutorials when learning a language, most of the people what they do, they learn few things and they immediately start coding. Okay, a lot of operations we won't focus like unity operators, precedence, and all these things. So if whenever you don't know these things, these questions become quite tricky for you. Let me show you a simple example. Okay, so I'm putting a console dot log where I'm doing a plus b plus c. If you know the answer, please mention in the comment section and try to mention a, a, B plus C and mention whatever you have got. If not, let us continue watching. This is very simple. I think most will be able to guess. A, B plus C is A, B, C, right? Let me run the code. A, B plus C is A, B, C, correct? So it is not a numerical addition. It is a string concatenation, correct? Now, let me make well, another small thing. A, B minus B. Now, what is the output? First, I think most will be able to guess. Try to guess the output for the second one. A, B minus B. Get it? What is the output? In case if you know, I think you are one among that, uh, among the uh, people who are preparing for the interview who are very serious. Okay. Please mention that in the comment section and mention your answer. Definitely, I'll try to like and comment about your, the, your whatever the comment that you're making. See, the answer for this is uh, A, B minus B is not A. Very first to tell. Okay. So, A, B minus B is a b plus b was possible because if it first it tries for a um, number if it both are not numbers we'll try to do a string concatenation correct so first one was right second is a negation or negative operation a b minus b a b minus b will not give you b it is trying to subtract to two non-integer numbers correct a non-integer or basically non-numbers a b minus b so what you get is output as not a number n a n okay and if you don't know what is NAN, let me know in comment section. I'll try to make a detailed video. I mean, that is one of the important topic for interview. In simple words, NAN stands for not a number. Okay. So AB minus B is not a number. Points are clear to you. Next. Let's talk a little bit about the precedence. Okay. Let's say, I think all of you have studied this in your, um, your school days itself. Correct. So now what is the output? See, there is a rule for processing this. It is not 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 into 4 is 12. Correct. Um, this multiplication operation has higher priority than addition operation. So first 2 plus 4, even though you write it like this, what happens is this. First it is 2 plus 4, 4 to the 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. Correct? So this output will be 9. Correct? So this is the order. Let's say you have a plus on both the sides. There is no star. Plus on both the sides. Then what is the order of processing? So you know the bottommost rule where um, brackets, uh, then there is all the things. I, I'm not fully sure. So, but basically what is here is there is a rule for processing, correct? So if you go and see here in the, in the documentation, there's something called operator precedency. I'll try to link this in the description. Okay. This is, uh, I've taken it from developer.mozilla.org. Okay. So here he clearly specifies what is the uh, um, operator precedency in JavaScript. Okay. So 
like it is same as a board mass where the whenever the precedence is same the processing from left to right but there are some operators with the precedence is from right to left for example the equality operator so they have clearly mentioned that here so ab is equal to phi then it is a right to left processing so phi is first initialized to b then that same phi is again initialized to a okay most other operations are right to left precedence so sorry left to right precedence so 2 plus 3 plus 4 2 plus 3 is added then 3 plus 4 is added correct so precedence for a normal operations um, i mean with the same operations the priority is all most of the operator the priority is from left to right okay this is something that you want to know to answer. So I'm just trying to decode all the points which you should know to answer this. Next, we have something called unary operators, correct? So unary operator, if you see, uh, this is not addition. Don't confuse addition and unary operator, okay? The addition is subtraction are different. Unary operators are different. So in here, if you see, uh, so I'm just trying to log. So this was plus one. If you, but it is very important to look at the definition. The unary plus precedes its operand and it evaluates its operand but attempts to convert into number if it isn't already so let's say you have a string one okay and that can be potentially converted into a number see string one can be converted to number string hello world cannot be converted to number so it will try to convert those things which can be uh, acted like a number okay so other than that they just add the sign for example now if, uh, one was there plus one is similar as one correct so there is a plus y uh, plus and minus is minus Correct? Uh, minus and I mean into you already know that basic mathematical operation. So if it is a minus and minus, then it will become plus. Correct? So here it is minus one because y is minus one, and we are trying to log plus into minus, which is minus again a minus y. Correct? And we are trying to log a plus true and plus false. We are getting some values like zero and one here, and a plus hello we are getting the zero. It's very very important and confusing. So please read this documentation more in depth. Okay, I'm going to stick to my examples. I'm not going and explaining everything. Okay, this is about a unary plus operator, and there is similarly unary negation operator. Um, unary negation or uh, negative you can call the unary neg uh, negation operator precedes its operand and negates it. So uh, as you see, it is a plus four, and um, they are trying to log okay minus of an x, so which is uh, minus four because four here minus four. And same, it has been printed here, which is minus four, definitely. So in case if you are not doing this, it should be plus four, correct? It is a plus four. Or here you have a minus x. I think here also, if you make a minus y, minus into minus, it should become plus, correct? Plus four. Very simple. If you know basic methods, very simple. The purpose I'm showing this is many would have not learned this very much in detail in the interview. Now, whenever you are preparing for the interview or whenever you are learning the concept, okay? Now, let's go back to question. Let's try to decode all the problems one by one, okay? So step by step, only one by one I'll uncomment. Let's try to guess. Now, so one plus two plus two, we need to add, correct? There is a plus operator now. So plus operator now, you know the priority that is left to right precedence. First, we should be trying to do one plus two. Can we add one plus two, a numerical addition? Definitely not possible. It One is string and another is number. So it's a string plus number concatenation, correct? So it will become one, two as a string, very first, correct? One, two as a string. Then one two as a string, plus two as a string. What it will become? It will become one two two. Same, I think output you have saw. Okay, let me run that and show again to you. One two two. Correct. So now you are able to decode this. Let's go to the next question, which is quite slightly trickier. So what is here? So here also we have one two two. It is one two two. Correct. It is very easy. But uh, this is something very important one which I want to highlight. Many candidates don't observe the question carefully. Okay, uh, I mean, I also make this mistake, but please observe the question carefully. Don't look at it at any prejudice, like similar to this and this. See here, there is a plus. Many will not read this plus at all and they'll give a wrong answer. So uh, we already saw whenever there's a plus and a number that can be potentially convert, a string that can be potentially convert to number, it will try to convert it to a number. So it will become one plus, one plus two, which is three, a numerical three. Okay, then, then what will happen? Numerical three plus string two. So this will become 32, correct? Very easy. Now let me run the code and show it to you. 32, correct? So now let us go to the third one. I think you will be now on, you'll be able to answer more confidently. So this is one and a minus one, which is one and minus one is one and minus one is zero, correct? And a zero plus string two is zero two, correct? Let me run this code for you again. Zero two, correct? Now. Let's go to the next question. 
So here if we have plus one, one and two. So plus one is again one numerical one, correct? Numerical one plus string one, which is equals to one and one in a form of string, correct? And that plus two should give you one one two in the form of string, correct? Let's see if I'm wrong in case. No, it is right. Okay. Now we'll come to another again small tricky uh, variation of this. So we are doing a minus b, correct? A minus b plus two. You know a minus b is n a n, not a number, correct? So a minus b is not a number, not a number plus string two. What it will give? It is trying to concatenate both again, not a number and two in the form of string. Okay. If I run the code, so I'll see not a number and two. In case of this, there is a difference between above and this. Okay. So what we are doing there and what we did here? There it was a string concatenation which was possible. A num a uh, um, a data type which is not a number and a string can be concatenated to form a string. But here, a minus b is not a number. We are trying to add a not a number to a number. How we can add it? Number and not a number cannot be added. So you will get just a not a number. Not a number, trying to add it to not a number will give you not a number. Okay. And then very, very easy. Okay. So uh, very, very easy because I, you now you know all the concepts. Now any question like this asked in the interview, you know the precedence, you know about unary operator, you know about uh, negation operator, you'll be able to nail the, these questions. In case if you like this video, please like this on my YouTube channel and add any comment. Let's say you like the video, add in comment. Let's say you want me to improvise something. Please mention that in comment section. If you like me on videos more and more, it will appear for more and more uh, people. A lot of people when they start uh, clicking on the video, uh, it will again appear for more people and my channel become popular. I have a noble cause of helping a lot of candidates to clear their interview by liking and commenting. You help my cause. So please do help. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'll put this question in my GitHub and I'll also link that link in the description. You can get the question and practice. Try to make some variation of your own and try to practice that. Also read my medium articles and try to uh, write an article on that and link that in the description. Please read my link, um, medium blog also and try to follow me on medium. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.